are here in support of workers facing back to work legislation, um, uh, who are under union busting, who aren't even allowed to unionize. Their rights are being eroded, their wages, their incomes, their benefits. Uh, we're under an assault by the 1%, the global capitalist elite, and we're here standing in solidarity and fighting back. Uh, we're also here to call attention to all of the environmental concerns around these ports, around the Kinder Morgan port in Burnaby, shipping tar sands crude through the Burrard Inlet. They want to expand that. Down in Delta, they're talking about port expansion and other nasty things. Hudson and I live in Delta, in South Delta, and uh, very close to the port, the South Delta port. And we're talking about port expansion um, in um, Ladner and what it's going to do to the environment and uh, how it's going to play out. The port at the present time is working at 56 cent per uh, capacity. I mean, if there's only working at 56 percent now, what's the point of building um, more? Like, um, I am concerned about our tax dollars going to support things that aren't necessary when they could be used to support health and education. Um, <coughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, and then there's a lot of in environmental things that will be affected by this expansion of the port. Um, they're going to take up more agricultural land. Um, there's the bird migratory path is, is in the, where the port has been expanded, and that will be you know affect what's happening to nature, um, whales, uh, salmon uh, in the Fraser Estuary. And also the pollution, which is going to go up, right up to Pope and Agassiz and stuff, is pretty awful too. You know, I think that eventually things are not going to be very nice in the world. And certainly the smaller sea countries, you know, island countries, are, are really worried. I, I, sure that I'm sure that thing is going to go underwater too. Um, and why are we shipping coal? I mean, it's, it's a dirty fuel. And, um, do, do you think it's possible that, that um, places like Delta, the, the main part of Delta, will flood because of sea level rise? I wouldn't be surprised. Ultimately the message is why we're here and the message is strong and the message is that the people need, need power, the people need to be consulted in decisions that, that affect them. I was never asked if I want more tankers in the port, I don't think you were. I was never asked if we want to expand the Delta port twice the size and create a free trade zone, which is effectively a, a, a lawless state for corporations to do as they will. Um, over the past few years, Delta, expan Delta port expansion has, um, has used billions of dollars spent on new constructions of railway tracks and the development of the South Fraser Perimeter Road has converted hundreds of acres of farmland into concrete and taken away land that farmers have settled over a hundred years ago. Sensitive Delta farmland is being taken away for commercial reasons, not to mention the proposed free trade zone that will further worker exploitation. Criminal. Shame, I know. And, and it'll pave the way for even more growth in this sensitive uh, environmental area. We need to stand up to the industrialization of our Delta. We need to stand up to the destroyers of our farmland and stand up for the future of our children.